Nina Prescott. Okay, there's nothing Welcome here. to the Musgrave family collection. Still a work in progress. If you're here for the annual Canid review, I'm afraid it's already over. Only thing going on behind those doors is good, old-fashioned, lawful behavior. This greeting constitutes your confidentiality agreement. You hereby agree not to disclose the location or existence of these events. Thank you for cooperating. That doesn't sound shady at all. Uh, Canid Review? I don't know anything about Canid Review. Exactly. You do catch on fast. I don't know anything now about then, anything. <laughs> how can I help you? Let me see. I'm looking for Mr. Clarence Mosley. Mr. Mosley is indeed attending our event, although I am disappointed to discover he did not officially enter his canid Laplace into our competition. <clears throat> you should find Mr. Mosley just inside the prep room. Head inside and take the door to your left. Good to know. So what's with all this secrecy anyways? This place isn't exactly hard to find. We find that our clients enjoy the appearance of participating in illegal activities. Secrecy contributes to a feeling of indecency. The Musgrave family collection was intended to be a gallery of fine art. And here we are, using this place to practice semi-legal canid shows. Scandalous, isn't it? Uh, you could say that. I'll be on my way. So I want to look around. Oh wait, this isn't stealing. I was gonna say I want to look around but not take anything because it's probably stealing. But it wasn't. So, all right, I'll take it. Revenue hall discovered. This place has its own fast travel locations? No, but it is a discoverable oh, area. Out. It's a brilliant idea. Vending machines. What is this thing? Oh, it's a microphone. Am I? What is this? Okay, so this is our objective. We're gonna we're gonna hold off on going into this room. We're gonna do that one last. For now, let's look around. Revenue Specter. There's no other. Uniquely named individuals around here. Is this stealing? I can't even see to pick it up. How long did you say Musgrave was gone? Uh, everything seems to be 55. <clears throat> Alright, let's check downstairs. Let me grab this just in case. Oh, Milburn Hopes. I don't suppose you have any formal training in Canid husbandry. I really am at my wit's end. It's my little Anubis, you see. He's listless and miserable. I simply don't know what to do about his condition. Uh, let me see here. You named your canid Anubis? Oh, naturally. All our canids are named after the legends of the old pharaohs. The family tradition, you see. You must understand, Anubis is a very picky eater. He dines exclusively on Terra 2 Saltuna. None of that rubbish from Monarch. Unfortunately, we've had a bit of a shortage lately. He's so miserable without his Saltuna. So let me guess. Go grab you some Saltuna. Uh, Canids need affection too. Maybe you should be nicer to little Anubis. I wish I could say that. Your family's interested in Egyptian mythology. <clears throat> oh, absolutely. Egyptology is a family tradition. Did you know that the old pharaohs were buried in a monument along with all their belongings? The tradition was maintained for millennia, from Khufu all the way to Rockefeller. If you say so. Good luck with that. Man, I really wish I could fix the situation. Animal abuse is bad. Although he's probably not hitting them. They're still not getting the love they probably need. Dude, that's an elevator. I don't want to go down there yet. For all I know, that's where the quest takes me. What is this? Golden Canid Trophy discovered? That is so cool. 
Can I steal that? I'm almost certain I can. Okay. So I guess we should go talk to homeboy. Alright, let's look around this room first, actually, though. It's important. Look at that. That's not stealing either. Neither's this. Neither's that. If it could be taken, I'm taking it. Simple as that. Why is everything 55 to hack here? Or to a lockpick? I don't know. Alright, hey, you. Claire. Oh, it's Clarence Mosley. Hey, Maverick Johnston's newest star. I've got a question for you. Do you know the interesting thing about canid shows? No, but I got a question for you. Do you know the Muffin Man? Uh, let me see. Trick question. There isn't anything interesting about canid shows. <laughs> oh, but there is. If one possesses an eye for statistics. Mathematically speaking, the interesting thing about canid shows is this. They're an exercise in futility. Winning is predetermined. Over time, the inevitable trend is that the race goes to the swift. Time and chance are just statistical outliers. In other words, if you put enough canids through enough trials, the one with the most optimal attributes generally wins. Exercise in futility. Uh, is your name really Clarence? <laughs> yep. Canids sure are swell. You know, I think I've heard of people like you in my mortality reports. Let me guess. Abnormally high rate of head injury, <laughs> right? How did you know? I'm an actuary, you see. Well, not entirely. The actuarial sciences are more of a passion than a profession. So I suppose that makes me mostly an actuary. That's a bit of a family joke. Huh. I'm Clarence Mostly. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm Alex uh, Hawthorne entire entirely. Ha. Ah, wordplay. Delightful. What can I do for you, Hawthorne? Uh. I've been looking for you. Uh. Yeah, I'm looking for information for pro uh, about Project Gorgon. How do you know that name? I just came from Project there. Project Gorgon was supposed to be a secret. Not to me. <laughs> he said, this is stupid. If Project Gorgon's a secret, then how do you know about it? What? But I was the one who told you. That is, you asked me to. Look, <laughs> never mind. Let's start over. It's true. I was involved with Project Gorgon, but that chapter of my life is long since closed. Listen, I don't know what you want with Gorgon or with me, but let me give you some free advice, hmm? Let the past go. Live in the moment. Enjoy the party. Oh, I really wish there was a, a dumb uh, option for this. I love the dumb options, man. They're so funny. Uh, so... What got you so frightened? I left Gorgon behind for a reason. Several reasons, in fact. Corporate sabotage, abnormally high fatality rates, and the Marauders. We buried Project Gorgon for good. Don't go digging up its grave. You seem like you're in the margin of competence for a freelancer. Find yourself some better work. No. Uh, you're a bit late. Some mysterious figure already sent me cryptic warnings. <clears throat> Let me hazard a guess. You didn't listen then, and you're not about to listen now. How did you know? Uh, let me see. I need to lift the lockdown on Gorgon's manufactory. Can you show me how? Lifting the lockdown won't be easy. You'll need to send overrides from the chem lab and human inquiry. I don't have that level of clearance. But I know two people who do. The trouble is, I don't know you. I don't trust you. I washed my hands of Gorgon, and you're asking me to dirty them all over again. I'm going to need a good reason. Um. I, I, I think I'm going to go with this. 
Project Gorgon created the Marauders. You can't just walk away from that. Yes, the birthplace of the Marauders. And a graveyard for all our mistakes. Starting Project Gorgon was our first mistake. Trying to bury Project Gorgon while it's still very much alive and clawing its way back to the surface? That may be our last mistake. Maybe. You never know. Probably is, though. <laughs> Let me see. Uh... There has to be a way to fix this. Now's your chance to clear your conscience. Please. There's no need to insult me by implying I have a conscience. <laughs> it's my reputation that concerns me. <laughs> I want a favor from you. Do something for me and I'll do something for you. That way we don't have to rely on mutual trust. Tit for tat, a I guess. A grand prize trophy to the Canid Review. I want it in my hands. Get me that trophy and I'll give you the remaining researchers. Names, locations, as much information as I have. Uh... Sure, why not? <clears throat> what, really? You'll do it? I mean, just like that? Don't you want to know why I asked you? Fine, I'll bite. Why do you want uh, me to steal your stupid trophy? <laughs> My canid, Laplace, is statistically superior to every other canid in this review. Better average sprinting time, superior gait coefficient, optimal anatomical symmetry. I didn't bother entering little Laplace in this pointless contest. He's already won on paper, you see. That trophy rightfully belongs to him. That might be uh, the most Byzantium thing I've ever heard. <laughs> oh, you're much too kind. Oh, this God. Mean you'll do it. Sure. I'll be back with that stupid trophy. Head into the main hall. It is a badass trophy, though. And down into the maintenance tunnels. You'll find a service passage that leads up into the trophy room. Got it. The maintenance tunnel is the only way up into the trophy room. Some technician barred the door shut on our end. Ask Tilda Coatsworth about it over by the podium. I, I knew we were going to have to go down uh, down there. Yep. Oh, you're quite welcome. I look forward to observing your results. Let's go. Ooh, wait, level 31? I thought thir did the Did the cap go up? I guess so, dude. We're just going to do some more damage. Because why not? Why not? Ow. That hurt a little bit. Steal this trophy then. That is seriously a pretty cool trophy though. Not gonna lie. We're gonna have to kill everything and everyone here, aren't we? I hope if I have to kill... Uh, what are they called? The guards? I hope it's an isolated thing here. At least that one's not 55. How much money do I have? 2,000? I could level it up once. Wait, how, how much damage does it go up by? Quite a bit, actually. So I think it's going to, I think it's going to start getting level 90. Oh my God. I think it's going to start getting progressively stronger in terms of how much damage. Oh God. Hey, you know what? I'm not scared of this guy. Shut up. Who do you think you are? You're nothing. You mean nothing to me. Nothing. Nada. Do you understand me? Technician's key card. Runners up. Ready? Hello. Oh, of course I missed. Of course. Because why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I miss? That kind of stuff doesn't happen on PC for me. 
There's something there. But I want to look here real fast. <clears throat> yep, it's a good thing I did too. That was a stun bata uh, baton hyper. Technician's key card. We found it. So we passed two doors that we could open. Let me see here. Completed schedule, annual sanitation, and repair Musgrave family vault. One, applied can kind of pine scented. I don't know what that is. Floor wax. Sounds good, though, to be honest. Or uh, smells good. Uh, sounds like it would smell good. Two, appraised area according to Byzantium aesthetic standards. And then the regulation. Three, relocated garbage. Four, <coughs> installed anti dissident anti-dissident auto mechanicals in order to ensure moral and civil hygiene for note tampering with altering or otherwise disabling moral hygiene auto mechanicals is strictly prohibited under board regulations five delivered complimentary uh complimentary mint good to know you did a fine job mr technician man so there's that i i think i want to backtrack though a little bit what does this do Silver tongue kit. Okay, that's not new. Mr. N. Just in case I want to do some end ray damage. Uh, augmented reinforcement. Okay, we got to go down that way. So let's hold off on that. And actually look around. Oh, okay. Okay, so we just went full circle here. So there's another door that we need to go to then and that's the runners up <coughs> hello mr. ouch and hush grip sabri number three examine these dead canids show signs of domestication and sensitive grooming they all say the same huh they so the runners up are murdered. That's pretty sad, actually. I'm not gonna lie. Oh wait, hold on. We gotta go. Oh wait, I'm actually glad I came this way again. <clears throat> I almost missed that. Assault rifle mark three. And now let's go down. Or up. This should be the area with the trophy. Yeah, look, it's right there. It's beautiful. Oh, man. Oh, 150? Oh, my God. It's gorgeous. Can I just leave through here? Yes, I can. Don't mind me. la dee da I'm, I'm a nobody. I barely have enough brain cells to stand. You shouldn't be smoking indoors, bro. You're gonna stink up the place. You know, the careers of 9 out of 13 actors end after their debut serial. Enjoy the fame while it lasts. Today's your lucky day, Clarence. I got your trophy. My trophy? Look at this thing. Have you ever seen a more garish monument to the boredom of the elite? If only Grandfather Mosley were alive today, I would have loved to wave this trophy right in front of his cataract. I hope you won't take it personally when I say I had my doubts about you. Nothing ever gets done in Byzantium, you see. Competent work is, well, a statistical anomaly. Uh, if you say so, nod and smile. So, um, about the thing. Lifting the emergency lockdown requires overrides from the chem lab and human inquiry. Access to those facilities requires authorizations from two senior level researchers. Marion Blakesley, Jasper Lowe. They went into hiding after the project collapsed, but I've managed to calculate their last known whereabouts within a reasonable margin of error. Science 40? I'm not going to use 40 since this is a dumb character. But, uh, calculated? We keep all sorts of data on a permanent record. Spending habits, dietary restrictions, movement. 
Finding a person is no more complicated than solving an equation. After the project shut down, I had to keep my mind occupied. I worked on my actuarial tables, calculated the average lifespan of a spacer's choice worker, that sort of thing. I realized some of the researchers had to be alive. I ran some numbers, did a little research, and concluded that the two most likely survivors are Marion Blakesley and Jasper Lowe. Okay, okay. Uh, you haven't been able to let go of Project Gorgon either, then. Nonsense. I just needed a good old-fashioned statistical problem to busy my mind. Keeps the faculties lubricated. By looking up things of your past. Got it. Are these two researchers the only two survivors? As far as I know, Jasper Lowe and Marion Blakesley are the only two surviving researchers with high-level clearance. If you want to lift the lockdown on the manufactory, you'll need to send an override from the chem lab and human inquiry. I'm afraid it's the only way. I need two different overrides to lift the lockdown? Why is nothing in this colony ever simple? <laughs> I know it feels like you're being led on. What is that colorful <clears throat> metaphor commoners use? A wild sprat chase? Oh, God. Remember, this is Spacer's choice we're talking about. Their security protocols are just as inefficient and frustrating as their manufacturing. It's a wild goose chase. Goose. All right, well. Yeah, let's go. Try to exercise caution. It's good for your lifespan. Oh, are you looking out for me? You did fetch a trophy for my little applause. Technically, that makes you my canid servant. Mm. And by the transitive property of employment, my responsibility. Wow. No need to sound so astonished. That was a sarcastic now, wow. Was there anything else? So, I found this eye. My eye! Ew! I was wondering where I'd misplaced that old thing. It's perfectly preserved, you know. Every eye possesses unique dimensions, not unlike a fingerprint. The circumference, the shape, the color of the iris. An eye makes excellent proof of identification, assuming you don't mind removing one. Okay, so that's disgusting. I didn't realize this was his eye. So how'd you lose your eye anyways? I'd rather not get into the details. If Spacer's Choice ever asks you to test out their new model of monocle, just say no. <laughs> Here, take it back. I don't want this thing in my pocket. Well, that's rather responsible of you. I'll put a good word in your permanent record. Thank you? I... I guess? I wanted, I wanted to ask you something else. Yes? Um, let me see. What can you tell me about Project Gorgon? Let's try to keep it down, <clears throat> shall we? At least pretend we're being discreet? There's not a lot about Project Gorgon, I can tell you. I know that's not what you wanted to hear, but I closed that chapter in my life. I've moved on. So you can't tell me anything then? Rude. Alright, well let's go then. Time to go back, I'm assuming, to Gorgon? Oh, let me see. Yeah, back to Gorgon we go. Get out of my way. <clears throat> so, I'm just going to fast travel back there. Since it's literally the fastest way to get to the ship. Against all odds. Alrighty. Someone has left a threatening message on your terminal, Captain. I was unable to trace its origin. Please make a note of it. Okay. Let's go. I want to check this threatening message. Also, from who it's from. <laughs> Messages for duh. Uh, error origin not found. What a handsome vessel you have, little weasel. Who called me a weasel? I can't remember. The unreliable register to uh, one Alex Hawthorne, but that's not you, is it? You stole from him. 
just as you intended to steal Gorgon from me. Perhaps I should steal something dear from you in exchange. Your ship, your crew, your life. Fair is fair after all. Ah, got it. It was that mysterious figure. Man. It's gotta be, right? I got some words to say to the mysterious man. So we're going to... Oh, we're not going back to Byzantium. We're going to the Groundbreaker. Auxiliary... Ooh, a new destination on the Groundbreaker. Oh, I'm excited for this one. I wonder if it's going to be hostile. You know what? I'm going to... Quite literally... I like Vicar Max's responses to my stupid stuff. Who do I want? I like Ellie a lot, but I like Pravati a lot too. Who do I want to take with me though? I think I'm going to take Ellie. I'm going to take a major hit to my damage, but <clears throat> because this build is made for uh, a solo player. What is going on here? But still, I want... Is this stealing? Taking it. There's no one around anyways. Stay out. Let me see the map. Oh, it's... It's really not that big. Let's check over here first before we cross the line over there. suppose we'll take that get out of my way guys I got business to take care of ooh some bits and a pocket watch that I could sell is that it who are these guys gardeners these are not even hostile why do I get the feeling they're not here to welcome us I mean they don't look hostile Ellie so you need to relax Chat. Whoa, 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 it's Riz. Ah, uh, fuck it, damn it. Every time. So, uh, hey, you trespass, and I'm armed. Maybe take a second look at your life choices, pal. Uh, let me see. I'm looking for someone. Name of Marion Blakes, uh, Blakesley? Seen this person? Yeah, I know that lady. <clears throat> I know she's looking for, uh, solitude. She hired us to make sure no one comes sniffing around. Dude, their armor Get looks that's sick. that's bad news for your plan there. Who's... Dude, I'm gonna have to fight these guys. Who's us, exactly? Yeah, we're the gardeners. We keep order back here on these dangerous streets. Huh? Hallways. You know what I mean. <laughs> anyway. Blakesley's given us standing orders to strongly discourage anyone who tries to come in. I like to, uh, extrapolate from there. Uh, let me see. Surely we could come to terms. This deal with Blakesley's pretty sweet. We get paid and we get fresh greens every week. My gums never look healthier. Well, I don't have that much money. Hold on. There was another what? option. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm paid to make sure you... Crap. Looks like the only thing I have is... The attack. Fuck it. I saw people... Oh, God. Where are they? Oh, these guys are doing damage to me. Freaking end rays, I swear. I really need to heal. Oh my god. There's still some more. Ellie's down. I totally forgot he had that science weapon. <laughs> Ellie, are you okay? <laughs> Ellie, wake up. Wake up. 
Okay. Okay. I guess that's it. Hold on. Since we're attacking all these guys, we might as well steal everything we have from here. And Ray weakness? That's a big no for me there, partner. Vandalized right control or a uh, helmet. Vandalized. Why does it not look different? I don't know. It's weird. There was a lot more people. There they are. Vandalize Ordnance Control Helmet. Yeah, this one does look different. That looks so cool, dude. I'm not even gonna lie. Let me see. Is there any vandalized armor? Yeah, this guy has vandalized armor. How come I can't get it? So that's the way I need to go. Let me loot this, but I think there's some botanical lab. There's a botanical lab here? Yeah, I can go left and right. So I'm going to do that before I... Bef you know what? I'm going to go that way right here in a second. Botanical lab. That's what... Oh, it's sealed anyway, so I think I have to go that way. <clears throat> Alright, let me see. Examine. To the local idiots. Here's your weekly shipment. Please note the additional allotment of protein cakes. I could convince you and your colleagues to fill out uh, a brief questionnaire regarding your eating patterns. In the meantime, do not try to cut down. Uh, do try to cut down on all the sugary drinks. So this person sounds educated. All right, let's check this way first. Or maybe we should check this way. Yeah, let's check this way first. You never know. <clears throat> Although the other way is probably the stealth way to do it. Of course there would be nothing in there. There is... So this guy's not even hostile either. I take it back. That guy didn't even hear me. Did I just pick up vandalized armor? Vandalized ordnance control armor. I don't really see the difference. The this one, the the pink versions definitely look different. Let's go. But right, there's one left. You Here, you know what, Ellie? Since you like that pistol, the automag pistol, I just found you a lot stronger one. This one does 657. Well, it's not that much stronger, but it is stronger. Level 22 versus... Four, uh, yeah. It's a lot better, in my opinion. I'll just be taking all of your stuff. Thank you very much. Thank you for contributing. You are so kind. Does she... She has the... So this is level 22. This is level 25. Yeah, this is... Light years better. That guy died booty up. I love it. So this was this was just a dead end. There was nothing here. Unless I'm missing something, I don't know. But let's go ahead and go to the other side now. Let's go upstairs first. Or up the ladder, I mean. Is this the stealth way to do it? It is. Nice and easy. Dude, I got a two-for-one special. I don't know why I did that. Go away. That was all of them. That was quick. I don't know why I'm taking all this, but I'm taking it. Let's go. That 
that's uh pretty much everything that we need here. Wait, hold on. Vandalized defensive armor? Would you give this to me? Let me see. Oh yeah. That looks cool. 92. I really should give my companion some armor, but I don't, I don't really care. <laughs> so that's the vandalized helmet. Yeah, see, the, the helmets doesn't stand out too much. In my opinion, I don't know. Maybe you guys can see, or maybe I need to put two side by side and see how that looks. Wait, hold up. Hold up, what did I miss? What did I miss? I missed something. Yeah, there's nothing here. Alright, let's double check the other side. Maybe there's something I missed on that end. Alright, I went that way last time. That was the stealth version, obviously. Or maybe that was the way I'm supposed to go. I don't know. We'll check it right now. Maybe there's like some stairs or, or a, a ladder or something that I could go through. That I possibly missed. But I don't really see anything. So this gets me curious. Am I just supposed to like knock on the door or something? Oh, never mind. It's just, it's just open the door. You have to be kidding me. I thought I made myself clip. Wait, what's with this camera? Hello? Damn it. Look, I get it. Some people need things spelled out for them. I'm sure one of the auto mechanicals can explain. She sounds like a raider for sure. Or a marauder. Well, this is definitely uh, a botanical lab. Nothing. All right, I don't think I'm gonna continue looting the random stuff. Oh, here goes the auto mechanical she wanted. Oh man, I missed. Come here. Got him. So wait, did I just see a cat, a manta pillar? That thing looks disgusting. Wait, what is this thing? Oh. Observation log date. Who knows? Subject number, well, let's call him Percy. Percy here has discovered the secret to success. He has lifted the veil and found the pattern. He wakes up, he listens for that bell three times a day. Food lands from the sky. He eats, he waits. Life is easy. But the second your molt comes in, pal. Okay then. Those are interesting, but they don't really tell me much, do they? Maybe all collectively gives you a lot of stuff, but individually, they, they're just kind of like a cool way to know a little bit of the background of what was going on. Alright, I'm, I'm sure that's the exit. <clears throat> At least I'm, I'm assumingly sure that that's the exit. I gotta figure out how to get there though no this is sealed this is barred so i'm assuming that's where marion is so that just tells me that there's an alternative an alternate way to get there haha -ha. what do we have here maintenance logs entry one memory al uh, allocations exceeded Archive data expunged, retrieving uh, recent entries. Water supply remains steady, but the power 
functions are doing a number on the auto mechanicals. Easy fix all the time in the world. Gutted the auto mechanicals for non-essential components. Minor gains in power efficiency due to increased weight. Waterproofing materials compromised human error. Whoops. Let's get out of here. So that was nothing. To think that a manta queen could grow from something like this. Nature is truly wondrous, is it not? Uh, that's one way to put it. Experimental notes. Group C. Herithorfor, referred to as Clarence, continues to demonstrate inc increased, uh, a Clarice, increased, uh, growth and development relative to both the original and control strains. However, general mass and caloric content has not increased significantly compared to its predecessor, Horus. This suggests a limit in our ability to mitigate poor nutrient uptake uh, with Mantipillar mulch. Personal note, Martin's getting a little big for his ter uh, terrarium. Terrarium. A few more days and he goes into the processor. Uh, that's messed up. A little bit. Okay, a lot, but still. So how would I get there? Because I can't go there. There's a bunch of auto mechanicals in there. Am I supposed to find a key? Is that what's going on? Oh, yeah, the elevator. Totally forgot about the elevator. I hope you guys are ready. Alright, we're going straight for the attack. Ah! Run! What's up, buddy? So now that Vicar Max is here, I could do a lot more damage to my science. Hello? There's something going on inside there. Where? Yeah, I hear it. There's definitely something going on in there. Can I read this? No. Absolutely not. Okay. Is this a unique weapon? Nope. But I'll take it anyways. So this is... This goes where? This goes back to that little area? Yeah. Okay. I don't remember th where that is, but let's see. Ooh, founder. What is this? This looks sick. I kind of want to look down here first. Nothing? Nope. So who the fuck? Oh, wait, hang on. I can't hear a damn thing. Yeah, me either. Just gonna shut this thing off. Right. Mary and Blake, what can I do for you, Mr. Home Invasion? <laughs> this is, I love the sarcasm. Uh, I need to get into the HIA facility on Gorgon. Spacer's Choice send you? Took your sweet time. Gorgon? I holed up in a forgotten cargo bay of a rotting colony ship just so I could never hear that name again. But here you are. But here I am. I tracked down Clarence Mosley. Got that, uh... Yeah. That bastard. Is he still only mostly worthless? Or has he achieved mathematical perfection in that regard? Both. Uh, he's in show cadence now. Well, kind of. He'll be on to the next hobby in a week. Clarence lacks the attention span for this sort of thing. Someone wants to dig up the past, and you're the shovel, right? You can say that, actually. Uh, let me see. Yeah, Wilhelmina Ambrose hired me to find something on the asteroid. Ambrose. Well, I'll assume you're caught up then. That or hopelessly confused. 
Corporate demanded a product they could throw onto shelves. That put the squeeze on low at Chem to develop formulas. Samples. But how do you know if the product works? You run tests, see what happens. That's where human inquiry and auditing came in. I ran HIA and HIA ran the tests again and again and again. And what happens is a whole lot of wasted time and even more bodies. Uh, what was your part? Testing supervisor. I designed the initial testing regimens. Managed the staff, made sense of the test results. Tried to anyway. People are complicated. And I don't just mean the test subjects. Try and avoid working with people if you can. It always gets messy. Yeah, I suppose. Any, uh, what, was, what are they testing for? You've heard the adverts, right? Work day and night, still feel refreshed the next morning. <laughs> now, what we tested for was dexterity, efficiency, compliance. The traits of a good employee. Numbers never came out right. I could have pumped gallons of those chemicals into every living soul in this colony. Wouldn't have changed that. What we got was marauders. Yep, it was all bad. So, Spatial Choice knew the effects from the beginning? Yeah, good luck making that one stick. It's in the fine print, you know. Whatever was in those chemicals, it didn't matter what test we ran. We kept getting the same results. The proto-adrena time solution was both monstrously addictive and had catastrophic effects on the psyche and intellect. A real boon to the colony. That's interesting. So what happened? Uh, why did the facility shut down? We had a few weird accidents, escapes, minor setbacks. But one day, all the test subjects got loose. Sabotage, they said. It wasn't just us. All of the facilities got hit hard. Shut us down for a while. That turned out to be the last straw. Ah, yes. The incident. Spacer's choice wasn't getting much use out of us anymore, so they shuttered the project. Kicked Adrena time out the door. And I came here. So, wait, hold on. So she let them go? Let me see. So, why'd you hide on the ground, Breaker? I could have gone back to Byzantium, found a position somewhere else, even started up something new, like mostly. But I just. I couldn't stop thinking about. Indulge a scientist. What do you want out of this investigation of yours? Trying to liven up your memoir? No, not at all, actually. Uh, it... Curiosity, I suppose? Gets him every time. Ask your priest friend. What do you get out of headbutting murderous auto mechanicals for your captain here? My reasons are my own. Suffice it to say that not all rewards are monetary. Fair enough. That's all I've got. Here. I like his answer. His Don't much feel like hanging on to it anymore. Yay! Made my exit the moment the project started falling apart. Had to steal some credentials. This should get you into a volunteer induction entrance. Well, thank you. <laughs> I can still attack. That's that's so freaking messed up. Um, you hacked into Space's Choice database? Please, I just messaged people with fake demands for their passwords. That's when they didn't just leave codes written down on pieces of paper. If I couldn't talk my way out past a simple facility lockdown, I'd be working for Rizzo's. That'll get you inside. What you do from there, that's up to you. You're a monster. You know that? Be careful on Gordon. <clears throat> the compound got into the air, the water, everything. That asteroid makes monsters. Wow. Drowning and dining options down here. Thank you. All right, let's uh, put some more into two-handed because we're gonna be an OP SOB here. I just don't know what I'm gonna put this in. I guess I'll go with this, even though realistically we don't need it at all.
could go with... Let's go with... Oh, wrong one. Let's go with this. I want to see what happens. Oh, I don't have it with me, do I? Totally forgot I left it back on the ship. Okay. Well, when we go back to the ship, I want to see how much stronger my weapon is. How do I get over there? That one uh, pickaxe. Alrighty. How do I get out of this facility? Um, I think we've made it. Yes, we did. So this place wasn't very complicated. It wasn't very large either, but we got a lot of good information out of this. It's crazy that Spacious Choice knew the whole time what this thing was. Kind of blows me away, to be honest. All right, so let's go around. I really want to see. So this does. Hold on, what? What am I doing? So this isn't. An improvised weapon? Oh. Okay. Well, let's just put it back then. I don't know. Either way, I just figured I'd test it out. I don't I really didn't have anything to put it in anyway, so might as well. Back to Gorgon we go. Oh! wrong one I hate it when I do that there we go perfect let's see what what we got going on over here now should be interesting to say the least because now we got a new building that we have access to mark 5 queso atmospheric dome I've never seen one in person Magnificent. Isn't there one of these on uh, on Scylla? Oh, yes, we have access to that one building. And crack. <laughs> oh well. This dilapidated state of existence awaits all Halcyon if the board persists in their reckless disregard for anything but profit. So how do I get in there? I have to go up there. But how is the question? Oh, I think I have to go all the way around. I think I have to go over the bridge and then turn off the, uh, the thing from the other side. So let me see. So yeah, if we go straight, we'll be able to go straight there. Did I not loot this? I guess not. Oh, you! Do you guys got that last guy? Ow. I guess not. Well done. We're still alive. Barely. Wait, hold on. Did. Did the improvised weapon improve the Next damage to my hammer? To spend this much on a place only to let it rust. Except for Monarch and Scylla and Emerald Vale. Okay, I take it back. Spacer's choice <laughs> wouldn't abandon such an expansive and expensive operation without good reason. Or in their case, a really bad one. You could say that. But the fact of the matter is, they did. And there is a reason, but they... They're hiding it. Is that a Marauder? Yes. There's one right here, too. Oh, 
Got him. Can you relax? How dare you try to hit me? Look at that. Their damage really isn't even doing anything to me. Alright, uh, where's this where's this guy at? Oh. Someone's hitting me. It's okay though, that guy's definitely gonna get his come up in, in a second, which he did. Where'd he go? Guys, what you guys do with him? Oh, he's right here. I kind of need his stuff. For no reason other than personal gain. Gotta loot everything. Have to loot everything. Why? I don't know. I just have this... This thing with about me right now that makes me want to. There's a lot to loot out here. Nothing really interesting though, but I want to loot everything just in case I find like a unique item. That'd be pretty cool. But of course, I can't get into stuff like that because I don't have the proper skills. Let's go on. Let's go see if we can unlock that door from the bottom. That'd be pretty cool if we can. We'll have a, a shortcut. Get inside, guys. Oh, there you are. These guys are, like, damn near polar opposite. Wow, there's something. Something definitely happened down here. Give it to me. I really wish there was a really good version of the Sabery Saber. That would be awesome if there was. Gotta make sure I get all of this. Is that yes! Yes, that's what I've been wanting! I can take a hint. I mean, there's nothing to hide from. I'm just trying to loot, Ellie. You can relax. It's okay. At ease, soldier. Look at all this stuff. But now I can freely come and go from here as I as I please. Alright. Back upstairs we go. How are you guys enjoying yourselves on this nice fine asteroid? Good to know, good to know. Um let me see here. Did we loot this guy? Nope. But I did now. I already looted in there. I looted pretty much everywhere. Wait, have we? Yeah, that's where we came from, right? So yeah, there's really nothing else besides to go into this place. What is this place called again? The Human Inquiry Auditing. Hold on. I want to get a better view of this. Oh, that's too far. Wow. This place looks huge. Alright, let's go inside though.